Is it time to buy or sell Google stock? In this video, we're diving deep into Google. Our initial report was published on our website on Wednesday, May 10, 2023, and now we're here to provide you with an even more detailed analysis. Remember to subscribe, hit the like button, and turn on the notification bell to stay updated on our latest analysis. You don't want to miss any crucial updates that could impact your investments. Boost your experience by joining our YouTube membership. Choose the supporter tier to show your appreciation with a loyalty badge or the trader tier to request video analysis of the company of your choice. Please note that this video is for informational purposes only and should not be considered as financial advice. Since March 15, 2023, our system has ranked Google as a strong buy candidate, giving it a score of 7.17. Let's take a look at the stock's performance during this period. Those who followed our analysis would have enjoyed an impressive gain of 16.27% since we first listed Google as a buy candidate 40 days ago. This translates to an average return of 0.41% per day since it was listed as strong by candidate. The stock lies in the middle of a wide and strong rising trend in the short term and a further rise within the trend is signaled. The current three-month trend suggests a potential 19.1% change over the next three months, with a possible return between 10.44% and 23.43%. As for the 12-month trend, it suggests a minus 13.54% change over the next 12 months, with a potential return between minus 42.38% and minus 13.54%. This translates to a price range of $64.39 to $96.62 after a year. Our latest daily update for Google includes the headline, Stronger Technical Forecast for Google Stock Price After Wednesday Trading. The Google stock price gained 4.1% on the last trading day, Wednesday, May 10, 2023, rising from $107.35 to $111.75. During the last trading day the stock fluctuated 4.63% from a day low at $107.94 to a day high of $112.94. The price has been going up and down for this period, and there has been a 7.75% gain for the last two weeks. Volume has increased on the last day along with the price, which is a positive technical sign, and, in total, 25 million more shares were traded than the day before. In total, 61 million shares were bought and sold for approximately $6.84 billion. Over the past 52 weeks, the highest price of stock was $122.43, and the lowest price was $83.34. Currently, the price is 8.72%, or $10.68, below the 52-week high, and 95.44%, or $2,337.17, below the all-time high on June 14, 2021, when the price reached $2,448.92. Analyst Ratings and Price Targets on Wednesday, February 8, 2023, Loop Capital Markets set a price target of 125. On Wednesday, February 8, 2023, Loop Capital Markets set a price target of 125. On Friday, February 3, 2023, Barclays set a price target of 160. On Friday, February 3, 2023, JP Morgan set a price target of 118. On Friday, February 3, 2023, Truist Financial set a price target of 120. Analysts have given Google stock a general buy rating. They rate the P-E ratio as strong buy and price to book as strong buy. For return on investment, the analysts give the stock a neutral rating. The following signals have been identified for Google. The Google stock holds by signals from both short and long-term moving averages giving a positive forecast for the stock. Also, there is a general buy signal from the relation between the two signals where the short-term average is above the long-term average. On corrections down, there will be some support from the lines at $106.84 and $105.36. A breakdown below any of these levels will issue sell signals. A buy signal was issued from a pivot bottom point on Wednesday, April 26, 2023, and so far it has risen 7.75%. 
Further rise is indicated until a new top pivot has been found. Volume is rising along with the price. This is considered to be a good technical signal. Some negative signals were issued as well, and these may have some influence on the near short-term development. Furthermore, there is currently a sell signal from the three-month moving average convergence divergence MACD. Here are some other signals you might find interesting. Moving average convergence divergence, sell signal. Pivots, by signal 11 days ago. Bollinger, by signal 1 day ago. Short-term moving average, by signal 4 days ago. Long-term moving average, by signal 41 days ago. The relation between the short and the long moving averages. By signal 38 days ago. If we look at the 12-month chart we see. Short moving average, by signal 4 days ago. The long-term moving average, by signal 41 days ago. The relation between the short and the long moving averages. By signal 39 days ago. Remember to go to our page at stockinvest.us if you want to find more signals. Support, Risk, and Stop Loss for Google On the downside, the stock finds support just below today's level from accumulated volume at $105.97 and $101.62. There is a natural risk involved when a stock is testing a support level, since if this is broken, the stock then may fall to the next support level. In this case, Google finds support just below today's level at $105.97. If this is broken, then the next support from accumulated volume will be at $101.62 and $100.32. In general the stock tends to have very controlled movements and with good liquidity the risk is considered very low in this stock. During the last day, the stock moved $5 between high and low, or 4.63%. For the last week the stock has had daily average volatility of 2.66%. Before we dive into the possible good trading levels for Google, let's quickly cover some essential fundamental data. First, the price-to-earnings ratio, or P-E ratio. This crucial ratio measures a company's current share price relative to its per-share earnings. A relatively low P-E ratio could signal a low expectation for the future of the company or that the stock is undervalued, indicating a potential buying opportunity. In other news, the next earnings report for Q2 2023 is expected on July 24, 2023. Analysts' consensus estimates are at $1.34. Keep an eye on these numbers, as they can greatly impact stock prices. Now let's discuss some potential day trading levels for Google. There's no significant resistance from accumulated volume above, which means the stock could move upward swiftly under the right conditions. In this case, you might want to enter a position and use volume to determine when to exit. On the downside, Google encounters its first support level at $105.97. If this support level holds, it could be a good entry point, anticipating a rebound. The combined average rating for Google from multiple analyst sources is buy. Let's take a look at some recent insider trades. On May 5, 2023, GV 2021 GP, LLC conducted an insider buy of 7,286 shares of class A common stock. On May 5, 2023, Sriram Kavitark Ram conducted an insider sell of 23,739 shares of class A common stock. On May 5, 2023, Sriram Kavitark Ram conducted an insider sell of 13,761 shares of class A common stock. On May 5, 2023, Sriram Kavitark Ram conducted an insider sell of 23,606 shares of class A common stock. On May 5, 2023, Sriram Kavitark Ram conducted an insider sell of 13,894 shares of class A common stock. Based on the 100 most recent insider trades, we've calculated the insider power to be positive with a ratio of 59.793. Overall, insiders purchased 2,372,812 shares and sold 602,217 shares in the last 100 trades. Our recommended stop loss is set at $107.18 
minus 4.09%. This stock has low daily movements and this gives low risk. There is a buy signal from a pivot bottom found 10 days ago. Is Google stock a good buy? Google holds several positive signals and is within a strong rising trend. As the old saying says, let the trend be your friend. We therefore consider it to be a good choice at these current levels and we are expecting further gains during the next three months. We have upgraded our analysis conclusion for this stock since the last evaluation from a buy to a strong buy candidate. After analyzing the volatility and movements for the last trading day, our systems find that the current price is overvalued. For trading on Thursday, May 11th, we expect Google to open down minus 87 cents and start trading at $110.88. We remind you that trading involves a high risk of losing money, and that you should speak with a financial advisor before buying or selling any securities. You should not base your investment decision upon stockinvest.us. By using the information, you agree and are held liable for your own investment decisions. This is our current view of the stock. Do you agree or disagree? Comment below and share your thoughts. What is your target for the stock? Remember to like and subscribe. We wish you successful trading and have a beautiful day with regards from all of us here at Stock Invest.